dance. They think they're doing the Johnny Bravo dance. The, uh, do, do the, the monkey, monkey with, with me. me. <laughs> Look, so long as they're not doing the Mario, I could not care less. <laughs> do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. <laughs> <laughs> they're both dead. <laughs> oh. All right. Welcome to the show, everybody. We're playing some Kirby's Epic Yarn. Uh, I believe yes, yes, we are. Okay. So I have not played this before. I've uh, been wanting to play it for a long time. Um, and it looks like it's starting off slow. Welcome to Dreamland. This whole game is kind of about slow, honestly. It's about slow. Should we uh, introduce ourselves at all here, you think? or? Oh, well... Mm. Or are people just going to assume these are just random jerks playing games? Well, no, I mean, it's just a matter of, I mean, was this uploaded before or after something else that we had uploaded? I don't think we've really ever uploaded anything together. It might already... Uh, who knows? Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I'm Phil. Weird Phil. Uh, name's Dan, good buddy of Phil's. And we, uh... We were looking for a, a, a guy with a poncho from the looks of things. That's a poncho, right? I'm going to assume so, yes. And he just, I mean, just look at this guy for a second. Where are, her, where are his eyes? Uh, it's the blue things, right? The purple things? I'm going to assume so, but really, you usually see him at such a distance, you're going to confuse that mustache as a uh, pair of eyes. Hmm. Just everything about that guy's face is just off-putting to me. It's the, it's the triple dot. Uh, he's like screaming How does about. Kirby know what pants feels like? Huh. Um, how, uh... Get to high ground! Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I guess, from what I understand, uh, this was never supposed to be a Kirby game. This was supposed That is to be correct. A... It was uh, created by uh, Feel Good Games. Uh, my apologies if I've got the name wrong. Yeah, it feel... was originally supposed to star Prince Fluff. Mm -hmm. uh, however, through... Well, not entirely sure what went wrong here. Whether it didn't gain enough interest, or if Nintendo saw this and decided, Okay, we'll pick it up if you let us turn it into a Kirby game. But you can tell pretty easily from every once in a while here as to which parts were just the Kirby created game and which parts were well, you know, a game before Kirby was supposed to be okay. supposed to come along here. Trust me, you'll you'll get an idea here. Saving progress. Alright. So I am I'm Kirby. Yep, I'm Prince Fluff. <laughs> no. So yeah, you may want to get used to the controls here. Just a little whip attack here. Used to, Ooh. yep, ground pound, float. I, I really, I really, really like the little circles shooting out Doo -doo 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 -doo. underneath the yarn. Oh, this is just like Wooly World, which we haven't played yet. Well, same, <laughs> same company. In fact, this was this was the company's first game. So, no, I mean, I mean, like, like, look when I walk and it like goes down. Yep. Oh, I can't, I can't just like go down. I no, 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 no jumping through platforms. Sorry. Okay. All right. Well, at least not these platforms, anyway. <laughs> all right, all right. Patch cast. All right. Beads and treasures and... Dos players. Stickers and... By the way, for those who don't know and have never played this game, but have played Kirby games, uh, good a beginner game for kids, I'd say, because you cannot die in this game. That's good. About the only thing that uh, happens to you is you get penalized for it. All the beads you collect are kind of going towards kind of a well, kind of that rainbow-colored bracelet you see up there, and uh, you get enough. Uh, 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 yep. Uh, uh. Wait, that was nothing. What do you mean nothing? I thought that was like coins or something. No, no, no. That's just. And also, I can do that. Oh, that's cool. Now, you can also just unravel the enemy. All you have to do is just tap the button instead of hold it. Okay. Which is going to be handy for certain enemies because you actually want to unwrap them instead of just try to wrap, well, ravel them up, so to speak. 
But yeah, you get a certain amount of beads, you get uh, gold medals, you win all the points. So, Yay. I mean, you've, you've beaten this, you know all the secrets then? More or less, yes. Okay. Most of the secrets in this game really aren't all that difficult to figure out anyways. Though there are uh, hidden levels in this game, which we'll get to when we get to that point, I suppose. That are, uh, no matter what, an absolute bear to try and get through. Oh, I'll drop this. Yeah, I can't bring items through doors. Hold on, hold Sorry. on. There's, there's a thing here. A Wait. thing? Yes. Nope. Uh, <laughs> can't go okay. through metal blocks, dude. Okay, I did. Or at least I say metal in the uh, loosest sense of the word here, since we are in a yarn world. Yay! Okay. Everything about this game is just peaceful. I mean, even like the boss enemies in this game are like, yeah, whatever. King's Throne. Oh, I figured it would have been a toilet. Yes, it's a gold plated throne in a world of yarn. How? Was that good that I went down here? Yes, don't worry about it. Oh. Also, yeah, you oh. have to <laughs> oh my God. You have to look for little hidden pathways. I just threw there by accident. Now you may notice the little patches that we've kind of been collecting from here and there. You know, outside of the little trophies. Yes. Well, treasures, anyways. That's actually going to come uh, into play when we get to the end here. Also, one other thing. Do these guys not actually hurt you? Nope. Even when they, like... Oh! If that is not the cutest thing you've seen all day, well, you've watched too many cat videos. So, yep, all we have to do is just one of us just hits the bell and it starts the roulette. Is there any way to time this? Uh, kind of, sort of. Usually right about there gets you the best chance of... Well, okay, usually. Usually, okay. Figures, the second I say something. Oh. How much time do we want these to be? Uh... Ah, doing About a little happy minutes. dance. About like four minutes long. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was... <laughs> you know... Uh, when I was recording uh, b -b 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 Castlevania... World? Oh, okay. Yeah, when I was... Ca I oh, haven't... Cutscene. We haven't recorded Wooly World yet. Uh, but I was, I was recording Castlevania with Hoots, and every once in a while... Seriously, look at this guy. <laughs> he wants to sell me tacos. Chalupas. Wow. That is that is terrifying. Um that is legit the face of fear. Well, all it's doing is just, yep, well, so much for that. I th I was Wow, I was, that was spectacular. I thought there was going to be a boss fight or something. I don't know. No, not for a while. Not for a while. Okay. That's the magic yarn. I like his, I like his eyebrows. Well, I have to have something to distinguish him outside of color. Or <laughs> crown. Or, yeah. Oh, this is neat. So, yeah, there's the plot. The uh, evil poncho-wearing uh, wizard... Literally uh, tore all the pieces of this fabric world apart. Go beat the bosses, get the yarn to stitch it all back together, and win. Okay. All right. So we, we pretty much beat a boss during a cutscene and accomplished that? Well, much like most games these days, the first boss is a gimme. Unless you're playing, like, Bloodborne or Well, Dark I mean, I, I was, I was going to say... <laughs> Ninja Gaiden. I said most games. <laughs> and I guess Ninja Gaiden isn't really these days. <laughs> Dude, I, I was I... stuck on the first boss of Ninja Gaiden on Xbox for Said such everyone long time. ever. Yeah. Doesn't matter which nin a Ninja Gaiden game it is, it's just how it always is. Like, eventually the first boss is. Ooh. Do we get something to be new to Nah, that? those are just for, you know, okay. aesthetic appeal. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Lord Kirby. Damu. Is that like Ja Rule? 
Uh, sure. Let's go with that. I don't even know what Ja Rule sounds like anymore. It's been such a uh, long time. Probably shouldn't go there. What? Ja? No, it's like, like in a Mr. Bombastic? No, no, that's Shaggy. Yeah, we don't even know how he's supposed to sound like, so... Yay! I reward you with this easy to or easy to stain chair. It's white. So it can be just destroyed with anything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other people to extort. Keep the uh, wine and the spaghetti away from the furniture. What is? Okay. But grape juice is okay. <laughs> yeah, we got we got OxyClean for that. No, seriously, there's, there's OxyClean here. I mean, I'm not really a big OxyClean person, but... Moving on! Oh, it's still a damn little cinematic. It's it's the beginning of a Nintendo game, man. <laughs> you gotta expect a lot of opening stuff. You just bump me into the next area. That's how I roll. Literally. That's how I roll. Beep, beep. Ah! Okay. Beads streak. So we're gonna streak around? We're already naked? Yeah, that's how Kirby's been pretty much his... On whole life. We're streaking! We're streaking around the quad in the gymnasium! Who's we? <laughs> I do not know. Alright. Well, we're gonna go and pick up this next episode next time on the show. We will see you guys then. See you later.